Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting Let's Talk Fitness episode. I'm sure by now you've seen a million videos on YouTube of unboxings, mostly of electronics. But today I bring you what I believe is the first unboxing of a spiralizer, salad spiralizer thing. Just got it from Amazon and it seems like it's in and out of stock all the time over there. And it's very hard to find locally. Um, so let's take a look. All right, it comes with some instructions. Secure the vegetable slicer to a smooth working surface by pressing down gently on all four corners with the suction feet. Warning, the stainless steel blades are very sharp. The blades do not require adjustment and should not be touched directly, like any knife, I guess. All right, so let's take a look at what it is. Here we have the spiralizer. Looks like the, all right, take it out of the box. Put the box over there. Take it out of the plastic bag. All right, so here we go. There it is, the spiralizer. It's already all put together. Um, it comes with three blades. So I guess one of the blades is on there. This is the, um, this is the, what I'll call the spiralizer blade, which makes like the long twisty noodles. And that's the one we're gonna use now. So we're actually gonna take the security tape off. And then I think the other two blades are actually in the unit itself. They actually store in the unit. So here's one blade that looks like a thicker noodle kind of blade. Save that for later. And then the other one I believe is just a regular slicer. So if you want to make like slices of a tomato or an apple, um, on the box they show potatoes. Um, unfortunately, I don't eat potatoes anymore, but I think you could this would be great to make potatoes from what I understand. All right, so what we have is, let's put it in, make sure it's in there. What we have is a zucchini. I cut it, you're supposed to cut, from what I understand, you're supposed to cut everything kind of as straight as possible. It works better that way. And then you're supposed to put the, the fruit or, whoa, the fruit or vegetable onto this little metal nub at the end and secure it on there. I guess that's how it kind of affixes to that side. And then on this side, what I'll call the right side, you have to press it in now that's really about it. Now, to make this work, what you're gonna do is twist the, the handle over here, and then while you're twisting, you're gonna be pushing it in that direction towards the blade. So the idea is that you're pushing it with force and twisting it at the same time. So let's give it a whirl and see what happens. Over here on this side should be coming out the spiralized zucchini. So let's give it a try. And I'm applying force to the left, and I'm twisting it at the same time. And here we go. This might be the most exciting thing ever. Oh, here we go. We're almost at the end of our first spiralized zucchini. Almost at the end. Here we go. Five more turns. That's it. So I guess there's just a... Whoa. Look at that. So that's left over from the zucchini. Make sure when you're pulling this off that you be careful with the blades because they are very sharp. And then as you see, look, we got all this like noodles. Look at that. So here's just one of them. Look how long that is. Woo! Now apparently this is supposed to taste like pasta when you put spaghetti sauce on it. Wow, that's really long. Wow, still haven't found the end. Oh, there we go. No, still haven't found the end. Anyway, I'll be doing this all day to try to find the end. Oh, there we go. All right, so that's one noodle. And uh, it supposedly tastes just like pasta when you put spaghetti sauce on it. I'm excited to try it out because I've given up eating pasta and I'd love to have something else to add to my dishes besides just plain vegetables, which I understand this is just a vegetable, but we'll put some spaghetti sauce on it and maybe some mozzarella cheese, and I think we'll be good to go. So that's the spiralizer. You can check it out on Amazon. I put a link down below in the video. You can check out our blog at letstalkfitness.com, and have a great day. Get spiralizing.